Yeah, I know. Ultra Soldier. An Ultra Soldier? I want to be an Ultra Soldier! He was an ordinary man who had a terrible accident. But Modern Medicine was able to rebuild him. Modern Medicine? That's now! Terrible Accident. Modern Medicine. Rebuilt. Ultra Soldier. Yes! Well, you're a little scraped up, but it looks like you're going to be fine. Shit! Looks like you may have a fracture here. Wait, no, that's just a hair. You're perfect! Damn it! I wanna be an ultra soldier! You can't be an ultra soldier! But modern medicine! Modern medicine can't rebuild you! Stop this! Stop this right now! You're not an ultra soldier! You're not special! Give up! Give up! Give up! Man, this looks pretty bad. Good thing future medicine can rebuild him. Stronger than ever before. Part man, part machine. But he doesn't have insurance. Hmm. Well then. season already? <sighs> oh, hey! Cut that out! Come on, you freaking weirdo! You're so weird! I'm serious, stop it, or, or... Or else what, weirdo? You're gonna get weird on me? Oh! So, you think I'm weird, huh? Huh? <laughs> Look at me! <laughs> I'm 
I'm such a weirdo. Hey, I'm stop really that. Stop weird, that, dude. Man. You're like embarrassing us both. Stop that. Look Seriously. at me. <laughs> no, stop me. Let me down. I'm a weirdo. That was just crazy. Let me down, weirdo. Like you. Let me down. Let me down. Let me down. Let me Hey, those guys are being weird. Let's get them. Yeah. <laughs> Put me down, dude. I'm so weird. I'm not weird. I'm not weird. Should have a dip dab it da 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 ba ra ba ba da ba a da ba 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 da ba ba da ba ra ba ba da ba da ba ba da ba da ba da ba ba da
Honey, what is it? Shh. going on here? So then he falls in a bear trap. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Hey, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I'll be right back, okay? Okay, I'll be right here. Be this seat taken, my lad. Uh, actually, um, uh. What be your poison there? Raspberry chocolate vodka with mint. I, um. Two whiskeys. Ah, oh, come on, man. Sit still, my boy, for I'm going to tell ye a story that may very well save your life. Well, actually, I've got a... Uh... So there I was. Onward, men! We can't turn back now! Captain, we can't go further. The sea is a furious mistress tonight. <laughs> I'm begging you, Captain. Turn us around. Stop this madness. Never! I will not give up! I will not rest! Not until we find the Butt Shark. Wait, what? The Butt Shark. A Butt Shark. The Butt Shark! Half Shark and Half Butt. Terror of the Deep! There's no such thing as a butt shark. You weren't there, boy! You didn't see the cruelty of the sea! You didn't witness the hellish beast which emerged from her dark blue belly! <sighs> we hunted the butt shark for many months. <laughs> butt shark. My captain, the men are starving! We have little water left. We must stop off and replenish our supplies. Nay! The last time we stopped at shore, all but a handful of me crew abandoned ship! Well, that's because you're crazy, sir. Crazy? Is it crazy to hunt something as foul and tortured as the butt shark? Yeah, but you're just kind of making it personal, man. It is personal! The butt shark has taken everything from me. It took me wife. It took me only son. And it took me butt. Are you serious? Serious as scurvy, my lad. It took your butt? Okay, I've gotta go. I'm sorry, man. Sit back down, child, and be thankful that you can sit at all. Whoa, I was wondering why you were wearing assless chaps. Tis because I am an assless chap. Hey, I'm back. Shh, what happened next? Many weeks later, our hunt was still fruitless. The men were growing weak, but we pressed onward. I had but one mission, to kill the butt shark. You're, uh, narrating again there, Captain. I just practicing. Look, it's the butt shark. Narg, tis but a dick squid. <sighs> it's useless, Captain. Stop the search. It's destroying you. Half your crew is dead. Aye, perhaps it is time to wait there. That's your first mate. He's dead too. I will avenge him by killing the butt shark. Ugh. That last part, I didn't witness. Tis a literary device. You're such a good storyteller. Thanks. So then, other stuff happened, and the ship was going down. Captain! She's going down, sir. We must get to the dinghy. Arr, what's the point? My life is without meaning or purpose. I have failed my pursuit. But we all had a really good time, right? I mean, most of us died, but at least the rest of us have a pretty neat story to tell. Hey, a story! I must warn others not to pursue their obsessions to the point of madness. 
Let it not ruin them as it has ruined me! Pursue your dreams, me lad, but don't let them pursue you, for a dream can soon become a nightmare. I lost everything that night. I lost me ship, me crew, and me mind. Now I'm broken and penniless with only myself to blame. Wow. Well, thank you for telling me your story. I... Wait. If you're penniless, how can you afford these drinks? I can't! <laughs> oh, god damn it! Well, I'm done. Today's the day. I've got the ring, I've got the girl. Here's hoping she says yes. Wow, this is really great. Thanks for taking me out tonight, sweetie. I heard such good things about this place, I had to take you. <laughs> wow, look at that chandelier. Yeah, it's really cool. <sighs> anyway, there's a reason I- oh my Yes! Yes! Wow, that's so romantic. I... Did you just drink my wine? Uh, yeah. Um, why? I'm an alcoholic. What? Yep. Okay, no big deal. Just gotta try something else. See, you don't need alcohol to have a good time. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <sighs> look, uh, baby, there's something I wanna... Shh, look! Look, baby, there's something I wanna ask you. Will you marry me? Yes! Yes, 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 yes! <laughs> 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 Why can't you be that romantic? I, uh, I, th th uh. Isn't this great? It's beyond great. It's absolutely incredible. I love you. <laughs> I love you too. Uh. Oh my God, is that? Yes. No, uh, over there. Look. What? No. Yes. Yes, of course I'll marry you. Damn it. No. 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 What is wrong with you? Uh, j y you can't. You can't just. Can't. What? It's not fair. I. How I was... dare you? How dare you? No, no, no. No, listen to me. You listen to me. I didn't come all the way up here to the sky for people you know, like you, you to get all up in my business. What? No! Get out of my sky! We come up here to be alone! No, 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 no! You don't- and Get away from I was... people like you! No, you, you don't understand! No, I... you don't understand! You don't understand our love! Uh, what's your problem?
Hello, dear. In this room, I've hidden something very special. If you want to find it, you'll need to play a little game with me. Kinda like Saw? What? What's Saw? It's a movie. God damn it! Ah, fuck! Look, honey, I... I, I love you so much, and I've, I've been trying a million different ways to ask you to marry me, but, but they've all been done before, and all I wanted to do was give you something special to remember. Oh, sweetie. It doesn't matter how you propose. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. <gasps> you do? Yes! I don't care if you're a homophobic alcoholic. Let's get married. <sighs> You've made me the happiest man in the world. <laughs> <sighs> so, um, how do I get out of here? Uh, you have to go through the whole thing. Oh. And that's how my fiance died. Yar, tis a sad story. But I've got a sadder one. Two whiskeys! We all make mistakes. <laughs>
Four scientists from the future, armed with a hunger for knowledge and a time machine, embark on a quest to find... the most ancient joke in the book! Open your eyes now. <gasps> Kitties! That's right. And since it's your birthday, you get to pick out any cat you like, okay? Okay. Uh, I want... I, I want... That one! Bow! Are... Are you sure? Because, uh... That one! That one! That one! Okay, the big blue cat! Yeah. Now you have to remember, having a kitty is a Big responsibility. Can you take care of him? Air conditioning! You're gonna have to feed him, change his litter box. Air makes my face cold! Hello? Will you please get your cat to stop shitting on my lawn? Are you sure it wasn't your dog? Yeah, I'm pretty sure considering it's bright blue and I don't know, my dog is trapped underneath it. <coughs> Control your giant cat or I'm calling the cops. Sweetie, can you please come in here? Hi, Mom! We need to talk. I think the kitty has to go. But Crawford loves me. Maybe we can get you a regular sized cat. <sighs> Fine, we can keep him. Yay! Thanks, Mom! <laughs> Mommy's busy. Go play with your cat. There he is! Come 
Looks like old Clawford's pretty hurt. Please! I think we're gonna Help have to me. put him down. But he's okay! Clawford's okay! No, he's in a lot of pain, sweetie. <laughs> a lot of pain. My colon is hanging outside of my body. But, but Clawford... Sometimes we have to say goodbye to our pets, honey. It's what Clawford would want. Don't you want what Clawford would want? Uh, that's a big cat. Uh. Come on, sweetie. We need to put him out of my, his misery. It's the right thing to do. This is a total catastrophe. Ah, best part of the job. Casual Friday. When I get to kill animals. <gasps> nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Let's get this show on the road. Sorry, kid. We may have a problem here. Is everything okay in here? Is everything okay? What's happening? You okay? Tired of stubbing your toes? My china! Are you tired of dropping things on the floor? Are you tired of being a complete fuck-up at everything you do? <coughs> Try not doing that! Hey, don't do that! I could have stubbed my toe there. Good thing I didn't do that. And these are way better plates since I didn't break them. <sighs> Take that, stairs! Not doing that is easy. Instead of doing a thing, you simply don't do that. Here's George. Lately, I've been up all night, beating myself with a hammer. It really hurts, and I can't sleep. Is there anything I can do? There's something you cannot do. That thing you're doing. Simply don't do it. Wow, that's amazing. My husband's on a business trip, and I really want to have sex with a mailman. Try not doing that. I never thought of it that way. Thanks not doing that. Why, I oughta... No, don't do that. Okay. I bet I could jump in that pool from here. Don't do it. I guess I'll eat all this gravy. Don't do that either. Wanna go get tribal tattoos? No. I'm gonna fuck that turtle. Nope. Do you ever wonder what's the point in anything? Why even bother getting up? Every day is the same. Life is meaningless. And you're just passing the time until you grow old and die. Existence is a miserable, inescapable void, and the world is mocking you. There isn't a single reason to get out of bed in the morning. Try doing that! 
It's called doing that from the people who brought you not doing that. Get up, you lazy bum. Just do that. <laughs> All right. Just propose already. Do it. You're going to propose? Shit, yeah, I am. Thanks, doing that. I feel like jumping. Should I do that? No, uh, don't do that. But I thought... Don't do it. This is pretty confusing, dude. Should I get an abortion? That's, uh, kind of a gray area. I guess there's kind of a lot of factors for you to consider. I'm, uh... Thanks, doing that. What? No, that's not... Maybe we should do that again. Ooh. Guys, wait, that's <laughs> not what I... Okay, are we ready? Take three. And go. From the people who brought you doing that and not doing that. Introducing making your own decisions based on the situation. Should I? Shut up. Make your decision based on the situation. Okay. I bet if I take a running start. Right. Have fun. <laughs> yeah. You want to go get tribal tattoos? Hmm, I don't know. Figure it out between yourselves. You're adults, goddammit. Eat whatever you want. Do whatever. Good luck. <laughs> God, you guys are fucking idiots! This money belongs to the banks, not you people. Now give it back. Let's get him. Take that. Take this and another. Give him a right wing hook. Give him the shock and awe. <sighs> Holy shit. What? It was self-defense. You all saw it. Ugh, damn this recession. Now there's a handsome pair of American heroes. Say, where is Eagle anyway? Eagle, I'm home. Come here, Eagle. Guess what Daddy did today, Eagle? <coughs> what do you mean it's already on the news? Our top news story tonight, a bank heist was prevented today by a local hero aptly named the Star Spangled Bastard. And it's gotten the whole nation talking about gun safety. <coughs> Quiet, Eagle. I'm on TV. Is he really a hero? Security footage from the robbery shows Mr. Bastard pulling out a gun and opening fire on a suspect that was fleeing from the scene. The suspect in question died immediately. This is George W. Bullshit! Guns are perfectly safe. Guns don't kill people, Eagle. People kill people. People like me. People with guns. And furthermore, who is the government to tell us what to do? <coughs> Abortion is different, Eagle. Those babies deserve to be gun-bearing citizens, just like you and me, except smaller. What the? Protesters? Who said they could First Amendment on my lawn? No more guns! No more guns! No more guns! How did you find no my secret guns. base? Google! Oh, well... Get out of here! You're a cold-blooded killer, star-spangled bastard! Give up your guns! No I'm not guns. listening! No la 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 Perfect. The people are turning on star-spangled bastard. It is nearly time to strike. Is the device ready? Yes, my master. We finished testing and await your command. Mr. President. Give me your orders. Take away their guns.
I guess we gotta talk out our differences. I'm coming, Jesus! I love this gun. I'll never get rid of you. You're my third favorite. <laughs> Where are you going, little gun? Oh, no, you don't. Uh, uh, what, what the? What the? What's going on? Eagle! Eagle, help! <coughs> help me, Eagle! Why can't you fly? <coughs> no, 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 no! <laughs> we have some breaking news out of well, everywhere. Every gun on Earth has been confiscated by some kind of big red balloon thing. We go now to our field reporter, Abby Babel. Abby? It's pure chaos down here, Mike! Without guns, everything is simply falling apart! Hey, you guys can't rob this bank! Why not? Uh, cuz? <laughs> oh, I do want them! It's every man for himself down here, Mike! This is Abby Babel signing off! My god! Is there anyone who can save us? <laughs> huh? Wait, if there are no more guns, then I must become a bullet. Come, Eagle! <laughs> Do it, Eagle! Light the fires of freedom! Wait, perhaps if I rigged my elevator into some sort of launching contraption, I... Look, it's the Star Spangled Bastard! The button! Press the button! Hey, I'm the one saving the day here, not you! Hmm. Button, button, button. No! Oh, button! You're quite muscular. Oh, I surrender! Hmm, I guess guns do kill people. First Spangled Bastard! That'll tell you how to do your job! <laughs> we did it, Eagle! We restored the Second Amendment and peace on Earth! America! Who would have thought that all of society's problems could be solved by everyone packing heat? Yes, indeed. We've restored the fabric of society. And this fabric doesn't run. 
It doesn't have to make sense, Eagle. It's patriotic. <laughs> Good night, Eagle. Ah, I love nature! No idea you did so well for yourself. <laughs> yeah, well, you might say that I'm full of surprises. <laughs> Got any more for me? Shall we settle into bed? Yeah. Excuse me while I get comfortable. There's another if you'd like to join me. Okay, I'm not really comfortable with this. Uh, yeah, I understand that. Maybe you'll be more comfortable in my guest room. Come with me. Ah, here we are. How's this? Okay, I think I preferred the hot dog bed. <sighs> what? Ah, oh, yeah, bitches love the hot dog bed. Scientists from the future, armed with a hunger for knowledge and a time machine, embark on a quest to find... the most ancient joke in the book! The most ancient joke in the book. Hey, hey, hon. Hon, you, you having a good time? Yeah, it's been fun. Oh, me too, me too. There's something about this kind of stuff that... Huh? Oh, man, I sell tents. I love these things. 
You ever need a new birth turb? Oh, maybe. Tell me more. No, thank you. Come on. Your loss. How are you for car polish? We need lots. What? No. See, this is why I don't like coming here. You get weird about buying stuff. Watch this! Who's ready for boot shavings? Oh, they sell so much crap here. Let's go. Seriously. Look at this, folks. Here come ketchup. So dang hard to get out the bottle. Yes, yes it is. It's real hard. <laughs> I bet he went to ketchup college. I didn't go to ketchup college for seven years to shake ketchup out of a bottle. Well, no more. I decided I wasn't going to take it anymore. I ain't got time to be shaking no ketchup bottles. I'd rather be shaking my booty. That's where the ketchup cowboy comes in. Yeah! Okay, folks, who's first in line? Me, 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 me. I would have just used a squeezy bottle. I guess that's why he is up there and I'm down here. Ugh, fine. As long as we get out of here. I'll take one. You got yourself a deal. Partner. So, what do you think? Uh, it's there. Cool, huh? Yeah, I guess. Does this thing stop moving? Let's find out. Nope. Ah, I love nature. What the fuck was that? Hey, honey, I'm home. Guess what's for dinner? I can't do hot dogs anymore. Can we at least shake it up a little? Like mustard? <sighs> Wait! Look! Hmm. <laughs> Mustard Master. Mustard Master. Dot net. There's online shopping? Well, it isn't, isn't that great. Ugh. I'm gonna try and get some sleep. <gasps> Thank <laughs> you. 
get up. Something's happening. We had our time. What the heck, Tan? What the heck is happening? Whoa. Oh my god, this is crazy. Oh my god, this is so cool. Done, buddy. Is he ever gonna come back? He'll always come back when we need him, son. He'll come back from his home in the stars. help but wonder how anyone could claim to own something so grand and timeless. Yeah, to own it, you'd have to pee on it. Scientists from the future, armed with a hunger for knowledge and a time machine, embark on a quest to find... 
the most ancient joke in the book. Knock, knock. Um, who's there? Scientists, armed with a hunger for knowledge and a time machine, went back in time and discovered the most ancient joke in the world! <sighs> what a day! About their reverso. Who is not if they're not with Nusha? Snip. I'm pleased to announce fires are down 100% ever since we hired psychics.
That is it! This relationship is moving backwards. You don't care about your health. You don't care about our future. And you don't care about me. What is wrong with you? flower did you check the pantry yeah can you go to the store why don't I just go ask God for some flour <laughs> hey God can I borrow some flour get your own flour I have bigger things to worry about I'm God I don't know why I ask him for anything <laughs> Where's everyone going? It's Scrabble night. Yeah, um, well, the new neighbor's having a barbecue. New neighbor? He just moved in. Yeah, I think his name's Stan? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it's Satan. How's it going, big guy? Look, God, we'll totally come next week. Hey, these beers aren't gonna drink themselves, guys. By God. <sighs> Yesterday, everything was fine. The world was an oyster that was mine. I made the rules. Everybody knew my name But that old devil's done beat me at my game Ain't that a shame Another day, another best laid plan Crumbling to pieces in my almighty hand Why can't anybody understand? Shit 
has flown Followers and friends have let me here on my own All knowing, all seeing, and I'm still all alone It ain't easy being me But maybe I should start with G-O-D Maybe I can change and they'll all see Time. Hey, I'm having a party tonight. Didn't you get my Evite? It had a cool dog on it. Look, I'm gonna be super straight with you. Your idea of a party kind of blows. Satan's having a party too, and he's got beer. I have beer too. Infinite beer. No, you don't. Just stop trying. You should come with us, though. Satan's even got a DJ with thousands of songs. I've got thousands of live bands. Uh, every musician throughout history. I've got all your favorite bands. Uh, Beethoven, uh, Taylor Swift, Wings. Yeesh, this is embarrassing. God, uh, it's okay. Let's all just- And unicorns! I've got unicorns in there! And strippers! Glowing strippers! And millions of ice cream cones that fly! And a slip and slide made of gold! And a fog machine! God, this is kind of pathetic. Yeah, dude. You don't have any of that stuff. Yes, I do! Prove it. Can't you just have faith? Fine. If you guys won't be my friends, then there's only one thing left to do. I'm gonna kill my son! What?! Oh, shit. Please come out with your hands up! You don't have to do this! You guys are all bad people. I'm doing this for you. That doesn't make any sense! Get back, or else... Or else what? Um... Or else... Locust! Get me behind me, Satan! Hey, guys, I've got an idea. God, uh, can you hear me? Uh, if you're up there, I just want to uh, tell you how great you are. You're um, super awesome and stuff. You think so? Yeah. Thank you, God. Thank you for being you. And thanks for those awesome leaks I had for dinner last night. Hey, I cooked those. Shh. Oh, I'm glad you liked them. I grew them in your garden. Hey, why don't you come on out, God? Okay. Look out, he's got a thing! stupid stuff that made any sense. Oh well, let's party! Say, where is Satan anyway? Ho oh, ho suckers! Sayonara, shit-faces! <laughs> I'm sure he's off to make some other town happy.
study tonight? Nah, man, I gotta study. No time for partying. No, no time, time for, for partying? partying? What the shit? Ew! Books! Pahizix? Yikes! Looks like we've got a grade A lame ass right here. It's time to summon Captain Party! Cuffs! Snacks! <laughs> Music! Girls! Wait, where's Booze? <laughs> <laughs> We need to summon Captain Party! Mm. Um, uh, fucking dri uh, driving. Lots of traffic. Stop fucking this up, man! Wait a wait a I just... <coughs> Look, guys, I really need to pass this class. J just give us a second. Get your ass over here or you're off the team! Wait, no, 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 no! I don't want to be off the team! Hold up, I'm just... I'm looking for a black exit. Just give me a... All right, cool. He's almost here. Let's just sit here until- Hey! He's getting away! Girls! <sighs> Man, I really shouldn't drive. Hey, watch it! Learn to drive, you <laughs> fucker. Come on, you guys are being stupid. Stupid awesome. <laughs> Have you guys even summoned Captain Party before? Does he even exist? Well, yeah. He, uh, he, well... Well, we, we almost summoned him once, but Boo said he had a flat tire. Yeah, yeah, and that other time his GPS got him lost. Hmm, has Boo's ever made it here? I made it! Yes! <laughs> I'm I'm best part of the best part of the team! Cut! Snacks! <laughs> Music! Girls! Bleep! Bleep! Boom! Andrew WK! Yes, it's me! Let's party! No! Wait, what? It's extremely important to make time for studying and working and planning for your future. If you party all the time, you'll eventually wonder where your life went and why you didn't achieve your goals. Look at your friend here. He's an alcoholic and you can't even see it. Maybe if you noticed, you could help him. Meanwhile, this nice young man is studying to be a great scientist, someone who will change the world. Now, who would you rather be? Think about it. But we can party sometimes, right? I wouldn't recommend it. Andrew JK, guys! Let's fucking party! Have you ever wondered if we're alone in the universe? I miss you so much.
<laughs> Mom, Dad, I'm back from my trip to Europe. Son. Whoa, man, a surprise party? For me? What? Son, this isn't a surprise party. This is a funeral. While you were gone, your father... Your father committed suicide. He's gone. He's gone. <laughs> he left this note. <laughs> Well, we've analyzed the lump, and it is consistent with certain types of cancer. However, there is one final test in the cancer staging process. We should run this test as soon as possible. Oh, well, okay. Uh, what's the test? If your hand is bigger than your face, that means you have cancer. If there's just one
Somali! You want a little piece of this? Ah! Wow! I'm so glad I was wearing my seatbelt! Alright, you wanna tell me what happened here? That old lady ran a red light and hit us. <laughs> wow! Thanks, seatbelt! You saved me again! Hey, no problem, man. You get with the zero and go fuck yourself. Well, hey, did you fall from heaven? Cause you got boobies. <laughs> you're cute. Whoa, whoa, man, no, just no, okay? You're, you're very drunk. Come on, we're gonna get you out of here. Boobs. Let's get you home. Thanks, sweet belt. You're always saving me. So, what seems to be the problem? Oh, it's just terrible, Doc. I keep seeing assholes everywhere. So? I see assholes every day. But, Doctor, you're a butt doctor! Touché. I prefer the term proctologist, but go on, tell me more. It all started a week ago. I was getting some bacon and beer from the store, like I do every Tuesday, when the darndest thing happened. When I was reaching for the bacon, some salami fell right off the shelf. Ugh! Asshole! Right in the face! Interesting. Very interesting. How were his anorectal linings? Was he healthy? Doc, I don't care about all that! He had his butthole right up on me! But here's where it gets real weird. The next day I was walking along and I see this guy coming on his bike the other way. Suddenly, he runs smack into his stop sign, flips over, and whammy, another butt right in the face. I turned to go the other way and bam, another butthole. Buttholes everywhere, man. I decided to hunker down for a while on account of all the butts. I thought I'd be safe at home, you know. the Inbubibi tribe are especially interesting. During the harvest festival, they will show their buttocks to the rest of the tribe, shaking them gently Whoa. in a display of goodwill yeah. and celebration. Yeah. Look Whoa. at this one's buttocks. Firm rather than jiggly, yeah. he shows himself to be a strong and muscular leader of the tribe. Oh, Notice no, his rhythmic no, shaking. No. Wow, look at it. Just look Whoa. at that. Look at these buttocks. Shaking and shaking and shaking, it's hypnotic. Look at it, just stare into it. Just look at these big buttocks. We'll be back after these messages. Do you have a butt problem? One butt? Two butts? Red butt? Blue butt? Come see Dr. Cole N. Cleanser. Hi, I'm Dr. Cole N. Cleanser, and I'm here to get to the bottom of your bottom's problems. Got an issue with your rectum, let us inspect them. There's a problem with your hole called Dr. Cole. So then I came here. You gotta help me, duck. I can't live like this. <laughs> well, I am a butt doctor, so let's take a look at that butt. I did a quick x-ray while you were prattling on. As you can see here, your glutes are a bit out of shape. Your anus appears relatively healthy for a man your age. Your anal canal is showing some abrasion, but it's nothing to be Look, concerned. Look, see? It happened again! My god. This is worse than I thought. Medicine cannot help you, Mr. Jones. I'm afraid you have... a curse. A curse? A curse. 
Have you visited Egypt recently? Have you defaced a religious artifact? Have you offended any gypsies? Wait, there was this one thing. Beer and bacon, a bacon and beer. Gonna have some bacon, gonna have some beer. Bad change, please? Oh, oh, get on out of here. Go on, you smelly old bum. Get out of my way. Go crawl back in your smelly old bum hole. Bum hole. Well, that was strange. A beer and bacon, a bacon and beer. Gonna drink me some bacon and eat me some beer. Yes, this is definitely a curse. Is there anything you can do? Nope. I'm just a butt doctor. Curses, doctor? Why can't you be a curses, doctor? There is a support group for curse victims that meets every Sunday. There are others. You are not alone. Welcome to the Curse Victim Support Group. Let's all just take a minute to introduce ourselves. Uh, hi. M my name's Tyler. Uh, when I was 15, I vandalized a statue of Jesus, and now my eyes bleed every time I'm sad. Uh, hi, uh, my name's Cliff, and I have prostate cancer. That's so sad! Sorry, Cliff, but that's not really a curse. I feel cursed every day. Please leave. Okay. Oh, cool, an amulet. It looks like a scary... <laughs> Hi, I'm Jeff. I once told a gypsy glass blower to blow me, and well, he turned me into glass. I can't even ride bikes with my son anymore. That's how I got this. <gasps> oh well, that's normal actually. See, I have a crack as well. I've got one too. <laughs> Put your butts away. Ugh, what's your problem? I'll tell you my problem. I yelled at a smelly old woman, and now I see buttholes everywhere! Interesting, interesting. And you tried apologizing to her? Apologizing? I ain't apologizing to a smelly old bum! I look down at smelly bums! Huh. And yet, now you must look up at them every day. Whoa! I never thought about it that way! Maybe I do gotta apologize! Damn, I hope she's still there! This is my curse. I, I came here to apologize. I'm sorry for calling you a no good bum. I didn't mean nothing but. Come on, lady. You gotta remove this curse. You just gotta. No, I don't believe you really mean it. You've been mistreating the homeless for too long. God damn it, you old bitch. I'm trying to fucking apologize here. Why you gotta be such a Dick hole about it! Dick hole! Yo, oh, fuck! Ha! <laughs> Thanks, seatbelt! I owe you one! You do owe me one. What are you doing, Seatbelt? Shut up. <laughs> I need you to kill this man. But who is that? It doesn't matter. I saved you three fucking times. You need to do this for me. Don't ask fucking questions. Kill him. No, I, I can't. I can't. Kill him. Do it. I'll pay you next week, I swear to God! Please don't kill me! Please don't kill me!
wow, man, you, you saved my life. You, you saved mine, too. Is there any way I could repay you? <laughs> well, I could use a new seat belt. <laughs> <laughs> a good boy. You want the ball? You want the ball? Go get it. We did it, son. The horror is finally over. Stormy Thorn Castle, and only someone as brave and clever as you can save her. This is why I grant to you the Hero Seal. This is not a quest without peril, Lunk, which is why I grant this gift to you. You hold a sense of valor and purity in your heart that only a true hero can possess. And this is why, to you, I'm Papa's girl. Hey, Lunk, look! A sword! Oh, yes, the sword. They say the sword of legend, passed down by generations of heroes, can be found beyond that canyon. However, to get over there, you'll need a grappling hook. I'm willing to offer you mine, but I'll need a small favor in return. You see, my daughter's very sick, and I need someone to climb to the old... Okay, take it, it's yours. Okay, Lunk, pull the sword from the stone. Uh, uh, no, Lunk, the, the, the sword! Pull the sword out of the... No! No, Lung! Pull it out! Out! Oh, thank you, Lung, for, for a while there. I thought you were going to... Oh. Good job, Lunk! Now we must begin our long and arduous quest to Stormy Thorn Castle. First we must traverse... First, we must... Lunk? Lunk? I'm trying to... Look, Lunk? Lunk, listen! the magical fairy of the lake, and I...
<laughs> well, hello, Lunk. Welcome to Stormy Thorn Castle. My name is Stormy Thorn Castle, and I... Ah, shit. You did it! You defeated the evil boss. Now we must hurry and save the princess. But beware, there are pointy traps and... Good morning. Okay, I guess I'll be right here if you need me. Oh, Lunk, you're here. You rescued me. You've successfully completed your quest. Good job. You know what that means, Lunk? That means you're a hero! You are a hero, Lunk! Thank you, Princess. I'm so sorry, but there's nothing we could do. What? But he's still alive! Sorry. What I meant to say is, there's nothing we're going to do. I'm afraid your husband is in a coma, and he's never going to wake up. Is there anything we can do at all? Well, there is one thing. We can pull the plug, end his suffering, ease his passage from this life. Okay. <laughs> Wait! Look! Wow! It's a sign! Indeed. I think we have something truly spectacular on our hands. Chapley reporting live from St. Mark's Hospital. So tell me, Doctor, when did you find out about your eight-legged rider? Yesterday. Truly miraculous. And what better place for miracles to happen than a hospital? Miracles? Screw you, I work my ass off. What does it mean? Pillow, feathers, angel, Guardian Angel? Just to be safe, let's put out new pillows. I'll get on that right away. to kill that spider. Yep. There. It's done. Now, uh, where were we? Ah, yes. It's time to end this man's... He's already dead. Hmm. I should probably, uh... <gasps> <laughs>
my son is in there. I said get back! Sir, have you ever seen anything like this? Once in Vietnam, but it was cicadas. Sir, the explosives have been planted and are green to go. Let's bring this motherfucker down. Three, two, wait, look! We did it! It's finally over! Good riddance! And to think. Wait! No! 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 Long ago, the Earth was a world in unity. A planet of peace and harmony, unspoiled in its splendor. All of humanity lived as one. We had reached the pinnacle of science, philosophy, and art. Humanity stood on the brink of utopia. And then, they came. Descended upon us as they had countless worlds before, and infected 50% of the population. They fed by drawing blood away from the brain, leaving the host dim-witted and violent. First they invented fire. Then they invented explosions. Then they invented war so they could see more explosions. In a few short years, the infected rendered all of humanity's previous accomplishments aside. The alien scourge still infests the planet even today, bringing with it millennia of war, violence, and penises. Is that really how it happened? E yes. I love being homeschooled. <laughs> Hello? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Mm-hmm. He's here. Hey, uh, it's for you.
for the summer! Did you miss me, Grandma? I'm on break. And do you know what that means? We are going to fucking party! Delivery from Grandpa! Yo, Granny! Get ready! <laughs> yes! We're partying! This is the best night of my life!
If you enjoyed this, be sure to visit Explosum.net for more.